Assalamu alaikum. How's everyone doing tonight? Alhamdulillah. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming out. My name is Mariam Jukaku. I'm the manager of operations at the Ilmtree Homeschooling Cooperative in Lafayette. So what is Ilmtree? We're a little different than all of the other schools here. We're not a private Islamic school. We're actually a homeschooling cooperative of about 30 to 35 families who come together to raise and educate our children. Um, this is our mission statement. So we're an intentional village of families with shared values rooted in traditional Islam. We're a cooperative that emphasizes classical education, moral character, and an appreciation for nature. And the parents serve as the mentors and teachers to raise children with an Islamic worldview. Um, and we'll get into a little bit about what these different terms mean. So our vision. So when our children graduate from eighth grade, this is what we're hoping for them, that they're well-educated and resilient, both uh, mentally and emotionally, um, that they recognize truth as truth and falsehood as falsehood, um, and they see beauty in the world, in Allah's creation, um, that they act in accordance with the Quran and the Sunnah, and they display respect, responsibility, and service in all aspects of their lives. So how do we do that? Well, we start with a classical education, similar to what uh, Sister Humaira at Peace Terrace was talking about. Um, we are homeschoolers, but we're not of the unschooling philosophy. We really believe in a rigorous academic program for our first through eighth graders. Um, our preschool is play-based um, in accordance with the sunnah of our uh, beloved prophet, um, and then kindergarten is a little bit of a transition year between play-based and learning the foundations of reading, writing, and mathematics. So we have um, our core subjects, which are taught every day. Uh, we actually have a four-day-a-week schedule, Monday through Thursday, Fridays are off. So every day we teach language arts math, Quran, and Arabic in the morning. And in the afternoon, we have Islamic studies, history, and science once a week. Um, and then the fourth day, they actually take nature education classes because we're located on a ranch, mashallah. We're very lucky to be on a 22-acre ranch in Lafayette, about 20 miles north of here at the 680-24 interchange. Um, our students are outside every day, rain or shine. We believe children should be comfortable being in nature, and they should appreciate Allah's creation. Um, so we're very lucky to, to be on this property. Um, we are in the heart of Silicon Valley, but we're a little different in that we are purposefully low tech. At the end of the day, we believe that learning happens best with pencil and paper and a loving teacher in a classroom. So we're very purposely low tech. Um, we don't use Chromebooks. Um, other than COVID during the shutdowns, um, our kids don't have iPads, things like that. Um, they use paper and pencil. They learn how to write beautifully, handwriting. Um, we really emphasize that. The other thing that's a little bit unique about Ilmtree, which you may not find at <coughs> other schools, is we have a very strictly enforced media policy in the home. So it translates outside of the school boundaries and into the home. Uh, students are only allowed three hours total of screen time, and it has to be on weekends only, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Students cannot own smart devices, um, and they cannot be on social media. So while this is kind of a strict policy for us, it's actually the easiest policy that we have to enforce because all of our families uh, believe in this and are behind the idea that children should have limited screen time. Um, this is how we do admissions. Um, our admissions process is very long because Ilmtree is really looking for a family who fits um, into our shared principles and shared values. Um, so the most important thing in this slide is the interest form. Um, there's a lot of different steps, but what you can do right now if you're interested is to fill out the interest form on our website. Once you do that, you'll get on our list um, for a tour. Uh, sometime in September, you'll receive an email to sign up for a tour. They fill up very fast, especially as everyone has been mentioning of all the presentations. There's lots of wait lists. We are at capacity currently, but um, uh, sign up for a tour because it's an essential part of our admissions process, um, and, uh, and it's required as part of the admissions process. But they fill up really quickly, so as soon as you get that email to sign up for a tour, go ahead and do that. Um, so we're, we're small. We're about 30 
to 35 families. Um, so about 80 students from our babies all the way up to eighth grade. We take care of the babies while the moms are teaching. So, um, the requirements. Ilm Tree is a full family effort. Um, we are a co-op, so you cannot just drop your children off like you would at a regular school or an Islamic school. You have to volunteer at Ilm Tree in order for your children to attend. So that's a minimum um, commitment of 10 hours per week. Um, that, can, that can be split between the mother and the father, but uh, for the most part, the mothers are the ones who are doing the teaching. All the parents are the teachers. Uh, we very rarely hire teachers. So it's me, it's uh, Fatson who's here with me. Um, our kids are at the school. We also teach and do the administrative work. Um, our fee structure is also interesting. <laughs> the more you work at the co-op, the less you pay. Um, there's more information about that on our website. Um, so we're really looking for families who uh, wholeheartedly believe in Ilmtree's vision and mission um, and support our agreements as a cooperative. So in short, we believe it takes a village to raise a child. And if you agree with that, and if what I said interested you, um, you can apply at our website, ilmtree.org slash apply. Um, and if I have one more minute before Maghrib, um, I just wanted to encourage everyone. I know it, it seems daunting that we're full, and this one has a wait list, and you know, admissions are closed. But my advice to you, and I've seen it work, mashallah, is um, take the first step. Fight, you know, get on people's wait list, <laughs> email them personally. That really works at Ilm Tree too. Like someone, if we say like we're full, but someone says, I'm really interested, I want to be part of it, take the first step. Inshallah, Allah will facilitate and make an opening for you and your children to have a good education in a wholesome Islamic environment, inshallah. So that's our website, ilmtree.org slash apply. Um, and inshallah, we can talk afterwards after Mahar. Thank you so much, Maryam. We really appreciate that. Beautiful.